Okay, so our next topic is the most efficient uh, mental tool or layout or template or however the fuck you want to call it uh, for creating a business that I have ever uh, created or seen in my entire life. I call this the business quadrant and this will basically help you understand how to create the business that will make you happy, make you tons of money and be highly efficient and follow your passion. Sounds good? It is good. Well, the business quadrant is extremely simple in its idea, but it does require a certain level of openness to new ideas. Uh, it's basically a template where you structure your business in a way where it focuses on the things that you're really good at, you're really passionate at, and actually leverages the things that are going to be good for you. On the other hand, things that you're not good at or you don't like it's they're under leveraged or completely ignored. So that way you can create a business where you only do what you like doing. What you like doing is actually what leverages the business to become better and better. And you don't have to focus on or even participate or even think about things that you don't like. So you basically create a business that is, uh, you know, your dream business, highly, prof highly efficient, high revenue, uh, very fun. I did this with a lot of clients of mine. I did this in various lectures and of course for me and it works like magic. So listen up. The business quadrant is very simple. Uh, you want to put it in four squares. So the first one would be things that you love and that you're good at. That's where you want to put, uh, again, everything that you love and you're good at and that's where you focus your entire point, the entire leverage of the business. So let's say you're really good at selling and it's something you love. Well, then you want to focus your business around that compartment. Or let's say you're good at marketing or making videos or coaching people. Whatever it is, you want to write down things that you're good at and you love. Next up, you have things that you're not good at but you love as well. Well, in this case, I would urge you to simply... Um, consider them as if you're already good at them. So let's say you wanna, you love selling, but you suck at it. Well, that's not really a problem because you're gonna get better at it. And once you get better, you know, if it's something you love, you're gonna get better at it, at it. So it's not really an issue, okay? So you can leverage your business around that even if you're not good at it yet. It's just a matter of time and patience. Next up, you have things that you're good at, but you hate. It's, let's say it's things that you were, you know, some in the past you loved and now you don't love them. Uh, for example, for me, uh, it's stuff like um, uh, designing, uh, coding, programming, uh, marketing, things like that. I used to be really good at them and really love them, but now these are not really my type of things anymore. So I'm putting them in this category and what that means is I want to use them as instances. So I want to take this part of the business and do it in a way where let's say I create a campaign, a marketing campaign, and I only need to do it once and then it keeps repeating and doing the work for me so I don't have to focus on it. I just use my skill once and since it's not a major part of the business, it's automatic, I don't need to focus on it. Or let's say I'm really good at selling, but I don't like selling, what I can do is put the part of the business where I teach people how to sell and then I only need to do it once per person I teach, but they do it many times. So I use my skill to create instances of people who use my skill or computer who replicates my skill. That's what this quadrant part is for. And the last one is things that you're not good at and you hate. Uh, these things you want to make sure that your business is not at all around them and under leveraged in these parts. For me, for example, it's things like accounting. I really, really hate accounting. So I run my businesses in a way where I have an accountant and he takes care of everything and I don't even need to think about it. So if my accountant comes up and he's like, uh, you know, we have this, this plan and this plan, we should do this and this. I just tell him, dude, you just do whatever the fuck you want. I trust you again, because I picked the right accountant and I just let him do what he needs to do because the business is not really based on having good tax rates or anything. Uh, it's more based on the actual part that I like. So what I like, for example, is creating videos, creating content, it's destroying people's minds like you. 
Uh, it's changing people's beliefs. It's coaching people. So I made sure the business is leveraged around these things. So the better job I do, the better the business does in a very leveraged way. So let's say I do this twice as good, the entire business is going to be 10 times more uh, highly uh, uh, revenue grossing. Um, and then you have the things that you don't like anymore, but you're good at. These, for example, are marketing campaigns that I set up. It's people who I taught how to sell for me. Uh, basically, again, things you instance, you make them automatic. Either you give them to a computer and you want to make it automatic computer-based if it's things like uh, math or uh, you know a sales page or uh, a campaign. Basically, things that you can replicate but don't need actual human delicacy or it's quantity over quality. On the other hand, you want to replicate uh, things using people uh, that are including uh, selling, uh, making you know customer phone calls, things like that, because these things have a very personal nature. So you want to prefer quality over quantity. Uh, so again, the premise is very very simple: things you love and things you hate, and things you're good at and things you're bad at. Again, good and love you want to put in these categories everything uh, that you want to leverage in your business. So that's what the business is going to be about. So if you really love selling. Make sure a business is focused around selling and everything else is automatic. Uh, for example, if you really love selling, uh, you could create an online campaign or let somebody else run it for you and then all you need to do is just sell. Let's say that you really love making videos, well, you want to make the other parts of the business automatic and leverage the part where you just make as many videos as possible and that's where the revenue comes from. Again, this model is extremely simple. This is a very quick overview of it and I will explain it in much further detail in the future. Uh, but I hope this gives you a good glimpse into how you can create a business where you just have fun, do what you love and make a lot of money doing it. Enjoy, till next time.